Hi, my name is Chase Lahr and I'm a sophomore mechanical engineering student at Johns Hopkins University and this is my mechanical dissection project for mechanics-based design. I have chosen to dissect this Cuisinart Supreme Grind automatic burr mill, model number CCM-16PC1. It was manufactured around 2020 and I purchased it off of Amazon as a Christmas present However, it could also be purchased at Bed Bath & Beyond, JCPenney, Belk, or pretty much any other retailer. It's currently sold for $59.95 and is used to grind coffee beans, like these. All that you need to do before you're ready to start brewing your fresh cup of coffee in the morning is to simply put your chosen grind into the top, replace the lid, Select what weight you want on a sliding bar. Choose how coarse or fine the grind, and then simply press start. Once the machine has stopped grinding, you can remove the lower tray and find your fresh grounds ready to brew. Before we begin the actual dissection process, I would quickly like to mention a safety feature of this machine. In order for the grinding to start, the insertable tray has to be in as it will depress this little button here. And without that button being depressed, this machine will not start, thereby minimizing any injuries. Now on to the dissection. First, we will remove the top, which requires us just spinning it until we can't anymore and removing it from its base. Before we take anything apart, I just want to show you quickly what was inside the top here. This is the actual burr down here that does the grinding of the beans. Sorry, it's a little dark, um, but this will twist with the top part and that will do the actual crushing. I will now remove every screw that I see in the top here as well as on the bottom here. Um, and I will fast forward through this bit so you don't have to sit. Now that we have some things apart here, I can show you guys that this is just decorative. Um, all those screws did was just allow me to take this off. Um, this is the base ring to this, also doesn't really do anything. Um, this, however, is the top part of the grinder, which will mesh with the part that goes in the top here, um, and it'll twist. Um, so that one is important. And also, just one more thing to point out is another safety feature is that right here, you see that um, little switch that has to be pressed down in order for this machine to start as well. Um, so basically the top has to be screwed on. Just another safety feature. Okay, after some slight technical difficulty, I was able to get the screws out of this top part um, and remove the bottom face of this. So now we can see inside to kind of all the workings of this. Um, we have a spring right here, which attaches to um, that button that I was talking about earlier, um, as well as the circuit board right here, which connects to the motor, which will actually do the spinning of the two burr grinders. Um, unfortunately, this will be the end of my dissection as in order to get this top face off, I have to undo screw two screws that are back here, which I need a really long and thin screwdriver for, and the two screwdrivers that I have are neither. Um, but I will include a view of what that top part looks like. It pretty much just houses the electronics to the sliding bar right here, as well as the start switch. Um, and then this top ring, it has some springs and some more buttons to properly align this burr um, with the burr that's in this housing. And that's pretty much it. So I will put it all back together and see you in just a second. So everything's back in its place now and I decided to make a nice cup of coffee while I'm at it. So I hope you enjoyed learning kind of about the insides of a bean grinder.